Hey guys, this is D from D's Delicious Spice. <clears throat> and I am homesick. If you saw my community post, you know that I have C19. It's crazy. I just feel like I have the worst cold ever. I feel like I have the flu. But yet I'm still hungry. So that's a good thing, right? So I am going to uh, just try some fruit. I had uh, chicken soup yesterday <coughs> that my daughter brought to me that um, her fiance Jacob made. It was really good. I had the broth and the noodles more than anything. Um, I've been drinking a lot of juice, orange juice, pineapple juice. Um, of course, there's nothing you can do with this, this except kind of try to treat the symptoms. You can't treat what it is. So you just try to alleviate your symptoms and make them a little bit less. So I am, I have my Coracetin, and by, I'm not recommending anybody do anything that I'm doing. Let's just do a real quick disclaimer. I'm just telling y'all what I'm doing. I'm not saying run out and do nothing. Um, but I'm just trying to not be so achy and for my throat not to hurt so much and not be so congested. Because right now I have muscle aches, I have chills, um, I have a dry cough, which actually it is productive today. It wasn't a couple days ago. I'm congested. My muscles ache everywhere, mostly in my hips. Don't know what that's about. Um, and in my back. A little bit of shortness of breath, but y'all, I'm moving. I'm still moving and I praise and thank God for that. I'm moving. So I've been just trying to, I haven't taken the Coracetin yet, but it says it's good for body aches and pains headache, fever, cough, runny nose, sneezing, and sore throat, which I have all of that. So last night I took some Mucinex because I wasn't, I'm not able to sleep well. So it says for severe cold and flu, it's an all-in-one headache, body pain, sore throat, fever, itchy throat, cough, runny nose, nasal congestion, and sneezing. So I took this last night and I noticed that I did sleep a little bit better. You can take this every four hours. Um, and then I have my uh, Tylenol if I need that. <clears throat> thank you, thank you, thank you to a very dear friend that dropped that off for me. Left it hanging on the mailbox and took off. And I don't blame them because I would have done the same. Um, <clears throat> so I am just trying to just... Uh, treat the symptoms, you guys. Treat the symptoms so I can get, get through. Um, like I said, I'm hungry. And I think that's a good thing. Because I wasn't hungry uh, day one. So I'm just going to try to do some fruit salad. And I'm going to drink my coffee because I want something warm on my scratchy throat. So I'm just... Uh, getting the fruit together so I can wash it. I've got my Lysol, got my Gatorade, got my water. I mean, I, I'm doing all that I can do. And I've been resting just in the bed. I only get up to go to the bathroom or try to find something to eat or drink. It's the only time I move. Um, I am. <clears throat> sleeping in a prone position, which means on my stomach, just to try to help keep my lungs as clear as I can. I don't sleep prone all night long, but I did have a really good nap <coughs> yesterday <clears throat> that way, and I feel like that was helpful. So... That's what I've been doing, you guys. Thank you to everyone who is praying for me. Um, my daughter also, 
Sheena tested positive. Um, her daughter will test today. My old, my youngest daughter and Jacob are fine. Um, so we'll see how everything goes, you guys. I'm, I'm truly believing and hoping in, uh, Christ that we'll all be fine. We'll be fine. So let me get this fruit washed off. I'll cut these up after. I just have grapes, raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, and kiwi. And I will be back. I want to make my coffee too. <clears throat> Howard is being tested on Thursday. Um, he wasn't feeling too too good when he left um, my house after the holidays. So I'm praying, of course, I'm praying that he does not have it, but he was pretty much uh, feeling like I was feeling. So we'll see. He'll let me know. I'm just cutting up some kiwi. I'm really, truly, even though I, I, ugh, I'm short of breath and I sound horrible. I'm just glad to be standing because the first day or two I was lightheaded, dizzy. Um, and I couldn't even stand very long just because everything ached. So... I'm just grateful and blessed to be able to stand here and, and make myself some fruit, honestly. <laughs> whether I will, <coughs> whether I will be able to eat it all remains to be seen, but I am going to try to eat something. I'm just basically eating what I can, what I feel like I want to eat. And it's really just been fruit, juice, and um, chicken broth. But that's okay. Take what I can get. I'm just glad I have uh, some kind of appetite because that means to me that it's not that bad. That's what I'm taking from it. If I don't eat all of the fruit, I'll just, matter of fact, I'm going to separate it out now because I feel like this bowl is, oh, I feel like this bowl is going to be too big. So I'm just going to go ahead and make the fruit salad and then just get a little bit of it. This fruit is fruit that I had from Christmas. I bought a lot of fruit because I did a big Christmas breakfast where I had fruit and Danish and um, a sausage, egg, and cheese frittata with hash browns. And we did mimosas. And it truly was just my immediate family. Not a lot of people were here. Um, two of my family members, Ray and Jacob, which were, they were feeling a little under the weather, not bad. They just were like had sniffly. They wore their masks to protect us because they were sniffly. But they've both had their vaccines and their booster. Um, so <laughs> obviously... <clears throat> like I said, they're fine. <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, this is too big. So, I'm going to dip some up in a smaller bowl. Get rid of my garbage here. And 
and make my coffee. Okay, so I'm gonna make my coffee. And I need to hurry up and get done because now I'm getting more short of breath as I'm on my feet more, but it's just me in the house. So if I, I have to do for myself as long as I can, I'm not going to have anybody over here to get them sick either. Um, when my daughter and Jacob brought the soup, they left it on the porch and then they text me to tell me to uh, get up and come get it and that's how we've been doing it when I need something so over here I've got my trusty Lysol y'all I got a ton of Lysol I've got all my waters over here to stay hydrated and um, I've got some Gatorade over here too as well if I need something like that I've got my Gatorade so I am trying to be prepared According to, <coughs> according to the um, guidelines for my job, it says that if after five days my symptoms have lessened, not completely disappeared, but have lessened and I feel better, that I can report to work without having to be retested. We don't retest right away, even with patients, because we know that they will test positive because they have the antibody in their system. So you may very well, you're, you're going to get a positive testing if you test right away. So they usually don't test like until like 90 days, I believe, three months. So I am able to return to work in five days if... I feel better. My sim I feel like my symptoms have lessened. If I still feel really bad and nothing seems to be getting better, then I have to have my doctor fill out paperwork that says I need more time off. You guys know me. I'm a worker. I am a go-getter. And I don't like to be down for long, not even with this. This will not get the best of me. I'm a fighter. I got Jesus and I'm going to be good. So what I'm going to do is pray that my I'll be good to go back in the five days. That is my goal. I am trying to get back to work. We're short-staffed, and I need it. And I'm going to do all that I can do so that I can get back to work. So you guys, I just wanted to do a quick update to let you know that I'm okay. This too shall pass. Thank you for your prayers. I'm going to go see what I can get down and keep down. I'm going to go. I'm get, I got to go. <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Stay well. Be safe. Until I see you in my next video, I love you guys. Be the best you that you could possibly be. Bye, guys.